Hello guys, it's the code nerd, your favorite teacher on YouTube about coding and in this new series I'm starting, you will learn everything you need to know about data structures and algorithms. After watching this first video, you will know the basics of data structures and algorithms. Also, don't forget to subscribe so I can have other subscribers besides my mom, my sister and my friends. So in this video we are starting from scratch, no prior experience needed, this video is for absolute beginners. So why should you learn data structures and algorithms? This topic is essential for you to cracking the coding interview and landing your dream job as a software engineer. Also data structures and algorithms is a must know core skill every su successful software engineer has. So without further ado, let's get started. Data structures. So the first step to attaining my multi-million dollar success guys is to learn what is a data structure. So data structure is a particular way of organizing data in a computer so that it can be used and stored effectively. If you don't understand this definition, now don't worry, I will show you a practical example later. So data structures basically can be either static or dynamic. So basically, ladies and gentlemen, there are two types of data structures, the first one being the static type. I'll just type in static, like this. So you can't read it, St static. And the second one being the dynamic. And now I'll just separate those. And I'm using this graphic tablet for the first time. So that's why I suck so much. And now let me just draw in another line just so I can practice it more. What is meant by static is just you predefine how much elements you want in your data structure before or when you declare your data structure so for example so for example i don't know what is my tab doing but it's you let's say we want to define the first three even numbers there are so there will be the two the four and the six so what that means is that you cannot now add a fourth element there's no space you cannot add more spaces here in your data structure and this is your data structure and i cannot type this that does not work does not listen to me and you can probably guess by now the dynamic is just the same thing or actually the dynamic is the opposite thing so let's say if i now declare a data structure with two the first two even number which are two and four if i want to add in the third even number i'm allowed to so i can add in a box in my data structure this is my data structure as you can see and you can also add in as much as you want like we can add in 8 you can add in 10 etc this is not limited to the number this data structure this dynamic data structure is not limited to the number of elements it has you can add in infinite number of elements and this one you specify this static type you specify first how much elements you want in your in your data structure what is an algorithm so by now you probably know that to become attractive as i am you need to know what is an algorithm so basically i'll just type in here that we're learning about algorithm so I don't know why this tablet lags, but it doesn't matter. 
So an algorithm is just a set of instructions that solve a problem. So imagine this line being an instruction and I'll just type in more instructions here. And basically this is an algorithm. This is the first instruction, then the second, third, etc. So an algorithm is just a program that solves a problem. So all of these instructions are being run one by one. So that's important to note that these instructions are being run in a sequential manner. Also another thing I should add is their finite number of steps. So let's see, we got here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We got 6 number of instructions or steps for this algorithm. Uh, you can also imagine an algorithm being this black box or just a program that has instructions because that's what an algorithm is. And to this program you probably just fit in some input like this. Let's imagine this being the input. You fit in the input to this program and then this algorithm is being run with these inputs and then you get an output and this output is basically the solution to your problem